All right, ladies and gentlemen, the October 2021 Thor News fundraiser crunch time continues. If you'd like to make a donation or contribution to keep Thor News up and running, I got a mailbox, a PayPal, a Venmo, a Cash App, a Patron, and only $1,524 left to go. Okie dokie, ladies and gentlemen, I give to y'all Comet Leonard C2021 A1 Sauce. This is a candidate to be a naked eye comet in December of 2021. And I used to be super cynical on comets, thinking that they would always disappoint and be nothing burgers. But Comet Neo Wise in 2020 kind of sort of unjaded me. I don't know if you remember it. We saw tons and tons of wonderful badass photographs during the time. Um, I never got to see it personally, but a lot of people in the right places saw it and said it was amazing. And so we will have to stay tuned to see if Comet C2021A1 Leonard will become impressive. It should now rise steeply. Let's see if it will live up to expectations. Graph prepared with Airtool software by Thomas Lehman. And so it is supposed to get up to a four in magnitude and magnitude is like golf scores where the lower the better better being you want to see it with binoculars or the naked eye and for whatever reason comets come around during holiday season like thanksgiving christmas season so this could be impressive but it could also be a total and absolute dud it's traveling pretty fast right now it is 2.35 astronomical units away from Earth. Astronomical unit is the distance from Earth to the Sun. And it will come within the orbit of Earth and Venus. It will make its closest approach on December 13th. It will get 0.23 astronomical units in distance to Earth. So, you know, that's pretty dang close depending on how big this thing may be. Remember, comets are like um, ice cream, cat dragon, dirty cat snowballs. Oh, I didn't say that as well. I'm out of practice. But yeah, it'll come pretty close to Earth. This has potential to be minorly impressive. Actually, it goes right into Venus's orbit. That is wild. No matter what, it is going to be a super duper interesting December. We've got the third of three. Uranus square Saturn. We've got Earth and Venus. Venus will be super bright in the sky. The Saturn square Uranus will be on the 24th. And so, and then you'll still have Jupiter and Saturn visible. And so we've got a lot of cool things to look out for and possibly a lot of dangerous things to look out for this December. And you know, 2021 has been a wild ride. And so there's no signs that it will stop being overly too fascinating, really, in my opinion. But yeah, C, 2021A1 Leonard is an inbound long period comet discovered by G.J. Good Job Leonard at the Mount Lemon, Liz Lemon University Observatory on the 3rd of January 21st, a year before its perihelion. And the comet was 5 AU away from the sun. So it's a fast mover. Jupiter's orbit is about the distance from the sun to that methanol and water starts sublimation, which means it starts to glow. This is the first comet discovered in 2021 and has a retrograde orbit. Well, that makes sense because we are in retrograde city right now. So it'll approach Earth the closest on the 2nd or 12th of December, and then it'll make its closest approach to the sun on the January 3rd of 2022 so yeah it may reach naked eye visibility in december of 2021 remember comets are like snowball dirty cat dragons to where nobody really knows what they're gonna do so right now it is guessed that it will have a mag an apparent magnitude of four that would make it a naked eye visible comet in the right places and you can definitely see it with binoculars Sometimes comets can surprise and overperform. Sometimes they can be total duds. So you never really know. 
After perihelion, the comet will be ejected from the solar system. Oh, tough luck, buddy. And so we'll just have to keep tracking it and hope we get a good omen in the sky. Although some people say comets are always negative omens. I guess it's right because, you know, Neo Eyes came around at the start of 2020. And then 2020 and 2021 were not exactly the funnest years of all time, were they? Huh. So maybe we should hope for a dud on this one. All right. But you do you figure out what you want to wish and hope for on this comet. And uh, I will try to cheer up and snap back into top form. But yeah, the last few months have been crazy, right? Okay. I am Thor News, your planetary defense commander. I've been doing Thor News for like almost nine years. Will I survive into October? Only time will tell. And a lot of that depends on you. If you'd like to make a contribution and donation, um, I got a mailbox, a PayPal, a Venmo, a Cash App, a Patron, and only $1,524 left to raise for the October fundraiser. I got to say thank you to everybody in Asteroid Fight Club, including Andrea, Mist, Cool Cats and Kittens, a.k.a. Zimsomniac, Daily Birthday Celebration, Barbara, Red, Angel, Mist, David, Dawn, Max, KJ, Alexis, Ann, Arnica, Glenda, Barbara, Lauren, Brian, Marlita, and Dan, and Light Soul, and Susan, and Wizard of Oz. Y'all are awesome. I super appreciate y'all. Everybody have a great Sunday night, and let's try to have a great week. Okay, peace out. God bless everyone.